Oh, ho, me heart is. A very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure, and here we are live with our Saturday evening phone-in. How amazing is that? Fantastic stuff. And we'll see if we can get some things sorted out for you so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. Um, I'm also going to see if I can get you a little bit more of me, if that's what you would like, and uh, we'll see what we can do as time goes on. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Kareem. I'm so glad you're with us tonight, and a massive dinky-doo. I'll just check that the lines are open in case anybody wants to phone us in. Main subjects for discussion tonight. Do you think the mini-budget will work? And uh, also Prince Charles. Now, I think this is very interesting. Um, do you think the new coins should have him wearing the crown? Right? So give us a call on that. 0141 628 You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scottish Kareem. Oh, you? Kareem, you're, you're some man. You really are. That's fantastic. <laughs> Right, so oh, did you, you did you manage in your enthusiasm and skill to catch the subjects? Yes, it was regarding the mini budget. The mini budget, and also we're wondering about uh, Prince Charles. Should he be wearing a crown on the coin? Well, I think that if he's entitled to, it, then yes, I don't, I don't see an issue. I don't see a problem. Um, and I've been quite shocked, Scotty, over the last few weeks, like, what a lot of people, how they've been acting towards the, the royal family. Uh -huh. um, just like some of these nupties that you just read. And uh, to me, at the end of the day, I think people seem to forget these, the, the royal, the royalty. You know, that, I mean, at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, they're at, they are at a different level because we are just, you think of the olden days, you know, we'd be the peasants, they'd be the royalty. And Absolutely. Talking, you'd, be, you'd be hung and, you know, and, and talk. Oh, yes, I mean, if some of them had talked about the royals the way they have done, they'd have been absolutely um, hung, drawn and quartered at the Tower of London. Yeah, yeah. And I was quite, I was shocked. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen the video when King Charles was out meeting the people. And you need to remember, he's lost his mother and yes. he's still going out meeting lots and lots of people and that's a brave thing to do and some clown some clown started questioning him how uh, and why regarding oh I saw that it was uh, he was starting to go on about political stuff oh uh, uh, that we can't afford to heat our homes why yeah. are, you know why are you entitled to all this that and I thought honestly some people are beyond 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 help yeah and their manners they've completely lost their manners, as if it's anything to actually do with the king who's out meeting the public at that time. I think they're so yeah. used to cheeking up to politicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Here's I a guy I here, think. listen to this, Evolve yeah. Scotty. We don't need a king or a monarchy. Does this person not realise, user 510, that having the king and the monarchy is evolving? We have a mm -hmm. crown our symbol of authority. We are a culture. You know, of course you need a king. Everybody needs a king or a head person. Well, this, I, I, I don't see, I generally do not see a problem or an issue. And I do think it comes down to a lot of people, lack of education, but sheer jealousy that they see yeah. people. If, if anything, Scott, and this is what I've learned, what I'm seeing a lot recently, we've got people, and you'll see it in social media and all these other things, they are fantastic at moaning and complaining and signing petitions for a lot of things that are really, you know, really silly. Instead of really getting down to the meat and the bone in terms of about corruption, about what's happening politically, yes. about, you know, what's happening locally within the communities, nothing. There is no big outcry. But when it's somebody's wearing the wrong type of dress or somebody said the wrong pronoun, well, that's it. Their arms are up in the air. Oh, yes, there's, there's, there's uh, hell on. No, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, everything is actually mapped out for the royal family. We knew that when the Queen died that all yeah. being well if Prince Charles was with us, he would become King Charles III. 
So it's not any great surprise. We need to have a symbol of authority. I mean, can you imagine if this discussion was going on right now in the United States, and we've got a huge number of viewers right now from the United States, I can tell you. And somebody said, yeah, I think we should do away with the stars and stripes. Can you imagine the outcry? You know, absolutely, absolutely, we should do away with all these things. So I think we maybe shouldn't allow it. Perhaps we should become a little bit hardened when it comes to the crown and say you cannot criticize the crown. I mean, if you go back a couple of hundred years, you couldn't look at the monarch. If the monarch was, say, um, you know, inspecting something or visiting something or whatever, you never, ever looked at the king. Don't look at the king. Somebody would say, make sure you don't look at the king. That was it. There was something of a deity. Now we have a slimmed down, uh, approachable monarchy. Yes. You know, yes. full, full of yes. full of human beings, and people need to get that right and start appreciating it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's another half weight here. Now, this is a guy here, which find a general, right, saying abolish the monarchy. Now, what's embarrassing me about this guy is he's got a St Andrew's flag. He's got a salt tire on his uh, on his badge. You see, you can't have that. Once you have this, we're going to lose independence because of these people. Look, Scotty, I think that that's probably a gender with a lot of these people, just to, to put that across. But, and it's, instead of, I mean, look what we're talking about just now and how much people are being idiots regarding that. But when it comes to what you said, you're fine. Hello? Hello, Kareem. That's it, and that's it. That's wrong. That we lost you. Sorry, we lost you a little minute there. Kareem, can I interrupt you just a second? Yes. Right, yes. I've got to tell you what's happening here on YouTube. Professor Numpty Heads come on first tonight. There's a first. And uh, good evening, sir, says the wonderful John Donnelly. Murray O'Donnell has sent me £45. Wow. I suspect he's actually sent me fifty pounds. Now this is incredibly generous of this wonderful yeah, man. Yeah. This is a marvelous yeah. man, Kareem, who has yeah. always supported Scotty McClue. And when I was ratching about to get enough money to buy a computer because I'd yeah. had a business challenge, he yeah. was right in there, along yeah. with a number of others, and your good self, of course. And I okay. just think this needs to be mentioned just how many beautiful people are out there? Yeah, no, I think that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Murray. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. yes, we say that's thank you, Murray, because that will go. I shall use that to promote this show. Yeah, absolutely, Scotty. Well, my point was being sorry. Uh, was saying, so, Kareem, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Here's another one. If we really stayed in a democracy, we should have a vote in the monarchy. You don't vote on the crown any more than you uh, vote on the stars and stripes. A democracy uh, came from the royal family. Democracy came to us in 1688. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. dear, oh dear. Sorry, Kareem. Uh, there we go. I, know. I just don't understand. I mean, like, it's a pound out your wages yeah. goes towards funding the, the royal family. And when you look at the benefits, I mean, look at the, the palaces have got up and down the UK. You look at the tourism. Look at uh, the, the church. £210 billion pounds comes in yeah. on tourism. Yeah, yeah. And... You look at all the local economies, the people being employed, the food that they buy. There's just there's so much benefits. If anything, and I've always argued this in our show, Scotty, that if we do get independence, we should be building a lot more uh, castles and palaces, refurbishing them and making them, obviously, uh, for King Charles, but obviously for tourism as well, because it will just bring in even more money to the country. And there's just so much benefits towards that. But we've got the people that said we want a republic. Do you really know what a republic means? Oh, so a republic is a very else. dangerous thing. Most republics are the most unhappy places. You know, yes. they're really because they don't have proper leadership. They've got political leadership and then that's it. I won't make, I mean, I've not shied away before, Scotty, but my view, if you look at, oh, like, America not having a monarchy, and I think you've said before in the history,